Never have to go to the laundromat again. This is how I do my laundry in my small New York City apartment. Calling this a series now because this is my third video on this topic, but a very special one because I'm gonna do a free giveaway on one of these two appliances. So stick around to the end to see how you can get raffled in on that prize. Okay, so I'm starting this video off with my portable washing machine. Here she is, what a beauty. I'm about to plug her in right now and show you guys exactly how I set it up in my house. So first things first, you're going to need some sort of a faucet. I use my kitchen sink because I don't have any other sink in my apartment. So the machine also comes with two hoses. One of them is this hose, which is where all the dirty water is going to go. So as you see, I have it hanging right here on my dish rack um, so that it could all filter out in the sink and drain down. If this hose is out here, the water is going to go all over the floor. So just be really careful with the hose. Make sure that it's secure and that it is not going to pop out and then uh, pretty much flood your apartment. This plastic hose is the original hose that came with the machine. But I opted out of this and I went to the hardware store and I got myself a metal hose. Okay, so this is the hose that I bought. I'll zoom in here for you guys if you want to search this. It says stainless steel braided hose. And on this end, it specifically says washing machine hose and the measurements right there. So I wasn't able to find this at Home Depot, but I just went to my local hardware store. So just go there and tell them that you need a hose to connect your portable washing machine to your sink and they'll know what to give you. So you're not gonna be able to just put this in your faucet. As you see, it's not going to fit. Most faucets have this thing that just screws off. So you're gonna screw it off. And then you're gonna take this to your local hardware store or if you know the measurements, you could just order online, but I wasn't sure. So I took this took this to my local hardware store and I was like, hey, I need something to connect from my faucet to this hose. And they're gonna know exactly what to give you. And this is what they're going to give you. So, th so this is going to screw on and then you could just install it. So you just push this down, put it in, and then it's gonna snap back up and now you're secure. All right, so now you're plugged in, you have this hose in, you have this hose that's gonna be going out, and then you're obviously plugged into the wall here. So now we're good to go. All right, so now it's time to do some laundry, and a lot of people ask me how much can I actually fit in here. I don't have the exact measurements, but I put in queen size sheets, I put in small blankets, I put in towels, I put in jeans. So it's actually bigger than you think. I, I've never really had a problem to where I just couldn't do my laundry. Um, if anything, I'll just do two loads instead of one. So another thing to keep in mind is that you do have to clean this, which is where all the lint goes. So it pops out really easy. I actually haven't cleaned this in a few loads. Let's see what's going on. And that's gonna be it. You're just gonna take that out. And then you're gonna pop it back in. All right, so I'm gonna throw some things in here. Okay, ready to do laundry. Here's the control panel. So we have power. So you're gonna wanna start with power. And then you're gonna skip over to program delay. So this is all the programs that you can set. I usually do fast, which is gonna be about 20 minutes. Um, and if you want to do the normal cycle, that's about 45. So I guess it just depends on how pressed you are for time and how dirty your clothes are. They also have all these other ones, which I actually have not tried all of them. I did try the air dry one and personally did not feel like it dried my clothes too much, which is why I have a portable dryer now. And over here, you're going to have your water level. So depending on how much clothes you have in here is pretty much where I decide where I want my water to be. Since I only have two things in here right now, I'm just going to do a water level of one or two. There we go. And now you're going to press start. And once I press start, I am going to turn on the faucet. And right here it tells you how many minutes the cycle is going to run. Now I'm gonna put in my detergents. I am a holistic household, so I like to use eCover amongst the, some other good brands that I like. 
You could also adjust the water level depending on the faucets. If you want more hot, obviously just turn on the hot faucet. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wait it out. The machine is going to beep when it's ready, so I will be back in 20 minutes to show you that. All right, so you heard the noise. That means the machine is done, and I like to make sure I turn the faucet off right away. Don't ever turn the faucet off mid-cycle. Make sure you wait till the very end so you hear the beeping sound and you know the cycle is done and then you could turn the faucet off. So the machine does a pretty good job of wringing out all the water, but let's go ahead and put these clothes in the dryer. So this is my portable dryer. It is by Morris. If you can see that right there. Um, it's a lot more simple to set up. It just comes with this cord basically and you plug it in the wall and then you are ready to go. So let's throw in some of my clothes. All right, so the dryer is done. Let's take a look inside. All right, here are my dried shorts. Just a few things to keep in mind. Down here is where all the excess water will come out from your clothes, but since uh, the washing machine is pretty good and it wrings out the water, it's empty, I didn't have anything. Also back here in the back of the dryer is where you are going to have your thing to clean the lint out. So my lint is already all cleaned out and I don't have any new lint from the cycle that I just put in. So I'm just gonna put that back, but it's really simple. It's a magnet and it pops right out. Another cool thing about this dryer is it does come with this shoe rack. So if you wash your shoes and you wanna dry them, I'm just gonna stick this bad boy in just like that and then you put your shoes in and it closes and then they'll dry in there. All right, so there you have it. That is how I do my laundry. Without going to the laundromat, you won't catch me dead in a laundromat. Now it's time for the big grand finale, the giveaway. So I'm going to give away a brand new, oops, oops, party foul, party foul. A brand new, I'm gonna be giving away this brand new Morris portable dryer. So if you wanna enter in on this raffle, you have to leave a comment on this video with a hashtag no more laundry mat. It's okay if you misspell it, it's just so that I know that you like actually want this um, versus people who are commenting and don't actually wanna be in the raffle. And you also have to subscribe to my channel. So those are the two things. Uh, leave a comment with the hashtag, subscribe to my channel, and you'll be in the running. I am going to give this video a month to do its thing on the internet, in the internet world, and um, then I will pick a winner. So that is all uh, you can follow me on instagram you can dm me if you have questions another thing about the raffle is the winner actually has to either come pick this machine up from me or they're going to have to pay for shipping because i'm not gonna pay for shipping but you will get the free machine so you know i live in new york so hopefully you're in the area if not you can pay for shipping and get the machine for free i think it's a pretty good offer so this machine has literally never been used. I just used it right now as the demo, but other than that, it's brand new. Um, I just wanna make that clear for everybody. Um, and that is all. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in and let me know what type of videos you wanna see. Peace.